calm. We arrived, what time is it? Just after 12? Oh, our bus is here. Oh, we're gonna jump on our tour bus and then I'll resume filming soon. <laughs> I didn't sleep last night and I had to be out the house at half past three in the morning to get to the airport in time and catch the flight at half six. So I've had about an hour's sleep and then once we got through Berlin and got to where our hotel is, we jumped on the uh, tour bus just to get our bearings about Berlin and know where things are, know what to come back for. So we did that for a couple of hours. And now like, we checked into our hotel and we're just going to chill out. I know it's quite of a coward's way out, but I feel that it'll be better tomorrow that I'm refreshed. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you around the hotel. We're staying at the Radisson Blue, which is a fantastic location. It's next to the river and Berlin Cathedral and a lot of other well-known sites are within walking distance so I'm really happy with the location and it's got this huge aquarium in the middle that's that is the PS de Resistance of the hotel um, so yeah I'm going to take you in I'm wearing my sunglasses because my eyes are like bloodshot and you don't want to see it okay so earlier I just showed you a shot of uh, where we are hotel wise it actually you can get a room with a view of the aquarium or the cathedral but obviously it costs a lot more um, and that's just a personal choice yeah she is so I'm going to take you in what are you doing okay all right you're going to have a shower Okay. This is the room. Yeah, this is the room. <laughs> this is the bathroom. Nice bathroom. And they've got they've got this works products which the only thing I've tried is the sleep spray. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm so tired. And I'm just gonna look like an obnoxious um, so-and-so with my sunglasses on. So hopefully when I resume filming, I'm gonna look more human and more wide awake. And hopefully I'll get mum in as well. Okay, I'm switching off now. Come on, focus, focus, focus. <laughs> Morning, it is day two in Berlin. <laughs> giggling <laughs> anyway it's day two in berlin now that we've had some rest uh we're going to go out and explore berlin properly on foot um how do you feel i'm feeling better yeah love our hotel it's lovely obviously did you have a nice sleep the beds yeah, are really nice. really nice and uh yeah, so hopefully, yeah, we'll do Brandenburg Gate and various other famous sites in Berlin. And anything else to say to the camera? I'm enjoying. She's enjoying herself. <laughs> <laughs> Places 
like a ghost town. Like most places would be on a Sunday morning, it's really nice to see this without too many people. Um, just a shame the sun is in the wrong direction, so I can't get certain pictures because of that, but hey ho. It's not really a whinge, just making a point. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do first. We shall see. We're going to hop on the bus tour again. We've got 48 hour ticket. Um, and then we're just going to get up at the places we like. Um, yeah, that's it. It's surprisingly, I've done, we've done one tour yesterday. It didn't seem that big to me, which is good. Um, hopefully go for brunch as well. And thinking about going to Berlin Zoo tomorrow because apparently that's very good and I've heard great things about it. So our first stop is the Reichstag, Reichstag which is the German parliament. Um, apparently there is a run happening this morning um, so it's best to get the chance to see it now before it's really busy. Um, I tried to get tickets to go inside the Reichstag to um, the viewing gallery in the dome but um, I had a lot of trouble. It's, you can only book a month in advance so I tried that and there was no guided tours available so then I tried for then I tried for um, just to go inside got a ticket for this morning and then a cancellation came through and said it's fully booked so never mind maybe next time Better. I'm in the dark there, but I'm in the light now. Brandenburg Gate, uh, take advantage of the quiet period. Hope to get some pictures of my nice photos. Right, we're gonna go to the Brandenburg Gate. Okay, jello. Today. Uh, we have done two tours. Yes. And they're very nice. What did we see? 
we see parliament, we see a wall, burning wall. Yeah. And we we see uh, the the gate. What do you call it? Brandenburg gate. Brandenburg gate. We saw the Reichstag. Huh. Um, we also went to the East Side Gallery. Yes. Um, Oh, and the chocolate shop. Chocolate shop. And yeah. the fortune there. And the cathedral. No, that we'll do that tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> and now we've come back down to the Brandenburg Gate. Over there. By the chin. She's saying her hair doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's just on the camera. It doesn't matter. <laughs> You're going to be a star anyway with your cooking channel. <laughs> So, um, so we're going to just see, wait here for a bit, um, to see it all lit up and then tomorrow, we didn't get to do brunch, we're going to do that tomorrow at that district coffee place hopefully, uh, and maybe go up the TV tower to see Berlin from 360 degrees. I think that's it, tomorrow's our last full day and then we head back on Tuesday morning. Are you looking forward to going home? Yes. Yeah. Why? Well, let's see. <laughs> For the cat. <laughs> Good morning. It's day three in Berlin. Coming up to about half nine. Bank holiday Monday, back in the UK. And we're just going to spend today strolling about and catching a few more. Like seeing a, more, a few more sights. Um, yeah, just going to be a very leisurely day. No rushing about. Uh, and enjoying the fine weather because I think it's 25 degrees today. Yes. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Okay, I've got. You can see that. Berlin Cathedral. We're staying next to Berlin Cathedral and the Spring River. How do you feel? Mm. How do you feel? Mm. Oh, don't, yeah, it's looking good, isn't it? Mm. The brioche toast. I haven't tried. Well, I'll finish it if you don't want it. No, I never tried. But... <laughs> so what did you think of brunch? Very nice. What did you like about it? Uh, you liked I, the latte, didn't you? Yeah, I like latte. Latte is very good. Latte. <laughs> latte is very good. And the brioche? Brioche was really wonderful. Uh, she loved it. It was worth the it's worth finding this place. Finding the place. Yes. Are we gonna? Are we going back to the hotel for a bit? Yeah. We're going to just chill out at the hotel for a bit and then go to the TV tower and then dinner. Maybe just hang around, go to the shops. They're open till late, and that's it. And then we'll pack. And we'll be off tomorrow morning, probably about half six, seven o'clock. Yeah, looking forward to seeing the cat, aren't you? I have to pick him up on the way back as well. Okay. I don't think you can see me. That's better. No, that's better. 
Okay, so I uh, just left the hotel, which is up there. Well, that's where my room is anyway. And I'm going there to the TV tower to go and get a view of Berlin. Um, so it's nice that it's just literally across the road. Um, so I booked a fast track ticket. I only have to turn up about 15 minutes before my due time. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take you along. You're welcome to look up the, to, the, to the window and to let's say enjoy the special view. For six meters per second, we move up, and in 40 seconds, we arrive at 203 meters high altitude. You can also follow it on the screen. Here is the speed six meters per second, and the meters where we are, are now. The restaurant is a bit higher 207 meters. If you want to, to visit the restaurant, please turn right, all the other ones, please turn left. Well, that was the TV tower, and it was a great way to see all of Berlin. As far as the eye can see, um, spotted the hotel we're staying in and found Brandenburg Gate, the Reichstag, so a few famous sites were very obvious. And uh, yeah, the fast track thing was worth it. You have to queue up for a ticket, like uh, other people were. Got you a lift quick as well. Um, yeah, I guess like, wherever I go, there is a viewing tower, I will try and go up there. So I've done Paris, New York, New York, got it, two places, Rockefeller and Empire, Eiffel Tower, Burj Khalifa, now this, Shard as well. Yeah, the little list is growing slowly, but it's a great day, it's so bright and sunny. Mum didn't come with me because she's got, she has trouble with heights. Um, is that vertigo? I don't know. I don't know, she just feels a bit queasy. She doesn't, yeah, so she didn't come with me. And to be honest, it was a little bit of a woe because my ears popped and I was a bit wobbly at first. It is very narrow. I can see, I don't know if I'm getting it. Whoa! The restaurant is just above the viewing deck. Like another floor or two, apparently. So if you eat there, you can obviously get a view of the place. I think it's a revolving restaurant. Nellie Ann's been, she recommended it, but it would be fun dining on your own here. Um, so, it's just after four. We go back to the hotel and then go and get some food later and have a mooch around the shops. Um, not a lot else I want to do now. Uh, finish packing, which won't take long. Probably be up at six to head to the airport. So Berlin, I'm not going to bid you farewell just yet, but I've got to say you've been fantastic so far and uh, I'll definitely come back and see you again. CNA. Although I know there is one in Barcelona, I've never been in it. But this is a store that I was, I grew up in, not, not literally, but I was dressed in everything CNA by my mum and dad. So this place obviously shut down years ago, if you're old enough to remember, and if not, it was like the Primark of the 80s and 90s, I think, but better quality. Anyway, we're going to go in and have a look before we have some food.
gonna go in there. Um, but there are a couple of nice things, nothing spectacular. European fashion different to UK. Um, there wasn't anything I was dying to buy, but it was just interesting to go in there and have a look. And uh, I don't know, feels like CNA hasn't moved on. Still stuck in a time zone. Oh, happy time though. That is shoe and bag. Well, Mum is just saying, look, there's a shop that says shoes and bags. I'm gonna go in there. Let's just let's just look up big this Primark is. Huge Primark outside of the UK. Right here in Berlin. Not pennies, but Primark. to nine I know that's really lame but I've walked about eight miles today and um, actually I'm not tucked up properly I need to get change uh, I need to take off my makeup and stuff um, but I've got to be up early tomorrow I need to leave the hotel by half six in the morning to make my way to the train station or the U-Bahn no the S-Bahn sorry and it's a half an hour train ride to the airport so so we're not rushing about we're going to leave at half six um had had a superb time in berlin i know there's still a lot to see and do here but i think we covered quite a bit in three days um at a nice pace as well not rushing about so enjoying the weather and yeah real leisurely pace and enjoying the sights looking forward to going home because i miss my cat <laughs> But it's been nice to go away with mum, especially after what we've been through in the last year. Um, anyway, I think I'll probably sign off now. I might film some footage tomorrow of us going back to London. But um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you enjoyed my mum the most. She is she's a star. She's a star in the making. She doesn't know it, but she will be a star. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and if you liked it, give me the thumbs up, do subscribe, that's what you meant to say in these videos, but if you don't, that's your choice, that's fine. Um, I like watching these videos back sometimes because they are great memories for me personally, but um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video through my eyes. Good night.